ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hello, this is James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 11th day of December. Very interesting weather in the days ahead. If you're new to this, we make this available twice a day via our blog. That's alabamawx.com. It's also on iTunes and on YouTube. So however you're watching, we're glad you're here. Let's uh, begin with some Skycam images right now. Record warmth again today. Our little December heat wave continues. We'll have a whole bunch of new records before the day is over. In fact, almost all of the sites have broken records for today with readings well up in the uh, 70s. That's a view from Birmingham looking back off to the east. Uh, there's the Gadsden Sky Cam up in Etowah County and Tuscaloosa, a bright, sunny, spring-like day, feeling more like Easter instead of Christmas. Water vapor satellite imagery, a familiar sight. Big, warm ridge over the southeast, a cold upper trough over the west. In between, nasty icing in that uh, uh, cold air that's so shallow. And there's a look at the temperature regime across the country. The warm air beginning to bulge back a little northward here. We've got 70s up into Kentucky now. Uh, 30s, uh, freezing temperatures down into uh, the Texas Panhandle and western Oklahoma. But the good news, it looks like Oklahoma City and Tulsa are above freezing. St. Louis above freezing. So the uh, uh, really big mess shifting a little north today. And there's a look at your ice storm warnings and Winter weather advisories all the way from uh, western Oklahoma up through northern Missouri and northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin, Michigan. Got a lot of pictures in the blog, uh, alabamawx.com, if you're watching via YouTube or iTunes from those some of those hard-hit areas. And, of course, uh, you know the deal. It's nasty out there with that ice. Uh, for the rest of this afternoon and tonight, there's the snow belt running from uh, the plains of eastern Colorado to uh, Milwaukee, in the northern part of Michigan, and we've got some really amazing snow shots from Milwaukee on the blog, and the ice is just below that. Really bad icing from Kansas City to Chicago. That's the uh, core of the ice, and travel is difficult. Power outages are becoming widespread. Very, very nasty indeed. Uh, we'll take a peek at the tropical weather scene. Kind of odd going from an ice storm to the tropics, but Hey, who knows? The weather's always interesting. This is uh, Olga, the subtropical storm that is moving uh, through uh, Hispaniola, uh, producing some wind and rain there. And this thing will keep on moving off to the west, uh, ultimately winding up uh, perhaps in Central America around Belize uh, this weekend. And, of course, it's not going to grow much. In fact, there should be a tropical depression on the journey, but it looks like it will go right on top of Jamaica um, a little later this week. But let's talk about what's going to happen here. Interesting stuff. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at noon tomorrow, noon on Wednesday. The trough finally beginning to weaken and lift out. At the surface tomorrow, the shower is still west of here. One more day with highs up in the 70s. Uh, rain is likely from eastern Texas up through, uh, well, Memphis and Louisville and up to uh, Pittsburgh. Thursday. The uh, trough weakens, passes well to the north. The trailing front comes in here with a band of showers Thursday. Don't think it's going to rain a lot, but we'll take every drop, a quarter inch. Probably is all we can expect with that. Friday, look at the new trough already forming back in the southwest United States. And uh, we'll go right into uh, Saturday, and there comes the trough digging down through uh, the lower Mississippi Valley. And again, that's the uh, GFS. We'll peak at the uh, European, very similar. If anything, the European, a little slower. It's got the trough axis farther off to the west. But the GFS has been performing pretty well here lately. So we'll kind of roll with that. And here's your surface look for midday Saturday. Uh, this is showing a surface low near Anniston, uh, 1,008 millibars, and that would suggest the heavier snow Saturday with this thing during the afternoon would be from uh, about Greenville, Mississippi, up to Jackson, Tennessee. And, yep, we're talking snow here. Remember, the air is very cold, not that far away from here. We'll go to 6 o'clock Saturday evening. The surface low moves over to around Columbia, South Carolina. And the potential does exist for the rain to change to snow for the northern half or at least the northern third of the state Saturday evening. 
But this thing is really moving along. The ground is relatively warm, and we think that will limit any real big chance of a major accumulation here, at least at this early phase of the game. And then by midnight Saturday night, the system deepens near Chesapeake Bay. Big snows inland uh, for parts of uh, western Virginia, West Virginia, up into Pennsylvania. This could be a whopper of a snowstorm up there. And around here, just a few flurries Saturday night, and it gets cold. And then Sunday, the system bombs out up there around uh, Boston. And again, that's a New England blizzard if I've ever seen one right there. That looks big time. But around here, Sunday would be dry and cold. Now, this is the GFS snow cover depiction valid at midnight Sunday night. Yep, this thing is suggesting six inches of snow, perhaps for Nashville, Knoxville, maybe more for the Great Smokies. Uh, One inch down into the northwestern corner of Alabama around Muscle Shoals and Russellville with a dusting for the rest of North Alabama. And we'll kind of spin it that way in the forecast. Uh, For the moment, we'll kind of downplay any major impact on travel or anything here. Just mention a chance of rain changing to snow before ending. But remember, all of this is subject to change. Uh, Monday of next week will be uh, chilly but dry. All right, let's go look at Christmas. Why not? Let's just get right to it. Christmas Day, December 25th. Shortwave uh, lifting up through the Great Lakes. Another shortwave back in the southwestern U.S. Very energetic, and at the surface, that lead shortwave produces a band of showers, and this would suggest Christmas Day would be mild and wet. But with such an active wave train, who knows? Uh, That will change time and time again. And at the end of the cycle, a couple of days later, the 27th, the GFS shows a big cold trough out west. And again, we'll just have to wait and see. We've got many storms to get through before we get there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, many notes in coming days, alabamawx.com. We will have the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. 